We already see and experience the benefits of AI in our daily lives, from Siri to self-driving cars and Google to robot vacuum cleaners. AI can do even more than we imagine or what is humanly possible. One example is using AI combined with robotics to access locations that are dangerous for humans, where they're able to undertake tasks or provide assistance where a human would not be able to. AI systems, such as used in drones and robots, have become increasingly important to intervene in extremely hazardous and dangerous environments, such as natural disasters like wildfire, floods or active volcanoes, where they're able to protect and assist victims. Robotic Swarm comes from Sandia National Laboratories, USA, and it's used to assist with avalanche rescue. With Robotic Swarm, victims of avalanches can be found four times faster than they can by a human search party. Robots can also be trained with AI to find explosives by preventing humans to enter the hazardous environments. AI systems can travel to places that would be challenging for humans to reach, such as space, mines and the deep sea. One of the most amazing areas of AI is the use of robots in space, helping astronauts with space missions using remotely operated vehicles. These robots capture data and visual footage which may never be possible to be performed by humans. Spirit is one of the robots that has used AI to help it explore Mars, both on the surface, surface and from orbit. Stanford have built a robot mermaid called Ocean One to perform the dangerous role of underwater explorations. Ocean One was able to explore the wreckage of a ship which sank 328 feet below the surface as it was too dangerous for a human to reach the wreckage. AI can perform repetitive tasks very consistently and for long periods of time. In manufacturing industries such as automotive plants, robots have taken over repetitive tasks like placing screws on assembly lines as well as repetitive roles that require heavy lifting. Using AI to perform these tasks provides a safer workplace environment by saving humans from the risk of repetitive movements that can cause strain and injuries. Businesses can also increase productivity and invest human time and expertise into other activities. AI does not suffer from common human issues such as tiredness, stress or illness and will not be overloaded with cognitive load when performing its role. AI systems are trained using massive amounts of data and tested for unseen circumstances to reduce error and improve accuracy. AI technologies are often designed to assist humans. Robots are being used to assist humans with physical disabilities. A Spanish company called Marzi Bionics, along with Spanish National Research Council, developed a robotic exoskeleton to help disabled children to walk again. Also, AI apps can assist visually impaired humans to become aware of what's in their environment. Generative AI has the potential to significantly boost productivity in both workplace and study environments. Studies have shown that when highly skilled workers use generative AI to assist them in their work, their performance has the potential to improve by as much as 40% compared to those who don't use it. Teachers can use generative AI tools to generate classroom activity ideas and to reduce admin workloads, such as generating sample text for an email to send to families that can be customized. These tools can also be used at home, for example, to quickly generate recipe ideas based on ingredients in the fridge, or to recommend novels or TV shows to watch based on your interests that you include as a prompt. In addition to the various benefits, there are a number of risks associated with AI-driven technologies. AI can easily track individuals online and offline. With the advancement of AI and digital technologies, individuals are increasingly being monitored and tracked. While this can be an advantage as it can be used in crime prevention and in protecting an individual security, such as in online banking, it is possible that we're increasingly in a surveillance society, which comes at a cost to individual privacy. We need to keep in mind data privacy when using AI tools. For example, in the case of generative AI, users need to be careful not to share any personal or sensitive data as this is often collected and stored. It is recommended to always check the terms and conditions of any tools and apps, particularly paying attention to the types of data they collect and how it is stored and used. 
AI systems can more easily track an individual both online and offline as computers monitor online transactions and searches and surveillance cameras are increasingly used in public spaces that adopt AI technology such as in facial recognition. AI can access some of our behavioural data to manipulate us. AI systems can provide recommendations to humans such as recommending products, news articles, songs and online network connections. While these have the benefits of foreseeing what you might need or what might be most useful to you based on your patterns of behaviour, this can also come at a cost. For example, companies may have access to your data for marketing purposes, which you might not wish to. Also, because AI systems are used, using past and common behaviour to make recommendations, there is a risk that we will be receiving the same recommendations, and this may make it harder for us to find new or unusual things. Also, when we train an AI technology to make decisions, it's possible that our training data might be biased, meaning that the recommendations could not be objective. As an example, generative AI outputs will be biased if the data is biased, potentially spreading misinformation in the text that they generate. There have been examples in the media where AI facial recognition technology has been based on biased data sets, resulting in people from certain racial backgrounds not being recognised. This is likely due to factors such as the images or video used to train the AI models lacking diverse and equal representation. There are also ethical and moral dilemmas when it comes to AI relating to copyright and intellectual property. For example, who owns the AI created masterpiece? And is it ethical to have generative AI trained on just any data found on the internet? for example, using artists' own work. AI can consciously or unconsciously harm humanity. AI technology, such as in the development of weapons, can be used consciously by people for harm if they're used with malicious intentions. Also, unconscious decisions made by humans in the design and development process of AI systems, as well as poor review and evaluation processes, can potentially result in unintended consequences that can lead to harm highlighting the importance of quality checks on the design of algorithms and human user interface designs.